Hundreds of employees of the notorious security contractor Blackwater have worked in Iraq after they were barred from operating in the country. A U.S. diplomatic cable shows the Blackwater guards were kept working with other firms in Iraq. The cable has been leaked by the whistleblower website WikiLeaks. Iraq canceled Blackwater's license over a deadly 2007 shooting in Baghdad that left over a dozen civilians, including women and children dead. Iraqi officials have called the shooting unprovoked. Blackwater renamed itself Z following the infamous incident. Let's put that into broader perspective with the help of uh, Sabah Jawad, Director of Iraqi Democrats Against Occupation, over the phone from London. Mr. Jawad, uh, it's good to have you with us. Who are the Americans, do you think, trying to deceive here? Why are they using guards who have uh, committed crimes against people of Iraq? Well, I mean, there, there is two, two aspects uh, for, for this uh, regarding this uh, black, uh, black water. Uh, obviously, the Iraqi, uh, the Iraqi government knows about uh, these people operating in the uh, in the country, despite the fact that actually they changed their name from Blackwater to Z, um, they should they should know better actually than allow these people to still operate in Iraq. And the second thing is that shows actually the total mentality behind the American occupation of Iraq. They've been killing Iraqi people for uh, since 2003, and even before that, since actually they started getting involved in in the affairs of Iraq and after the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait as well, bombing and so on. It's total disregard for the life of the innocent people in, in Iraq. And we have many examples. They don't punish them uh, when they are proven to commit uh, crimes against the Iraqi people. And sometimes, in fact, they see them as heroes. We have reports recently that in the United States, a couple of uh, guys used to operate in Iraq. Actually, they are standing for election, local election, and even Congress, and they are boasting about their uh, crimes in Iraq and, uh, and so on. So I mean, there is no justice as far as the American occupation of, of Iraq is concerned. The Americans don't, uh, are not subjected to, to law, international law or Iraqi law, or any law for that matter, even United States law. These people, they get away with murder, and they will continue to do so until the Iraqi government does something about them, and, uh, and we see the back of the American occupation in Iraq. Um, Mr. Jawad, what makes Blackwater so important for the Americans? Are these so-called security firms going to act as a secret army for the Americans when they withdraw? Yes, yes. Sure. Yes, precisely that. Precisely that, because the United States don't want to get to get their official soldiers to get killed in Iraq. They, they are a private, you know, they are privatizing the, the military industries uh, as well. These people, they are doing the dirty deeds on behalf of the American soldiers and the American system as well. And we will see more of that, not just in Iraq. If, they, if the Americans have their way, they will utilize these mercenaries everywhere in the world when, when their interest is threatened and where they want to uh, to do something uh, as well. We probably see it in Libya as well in, in the near future. Uh, this is common factor. The Americans want to recruit these mercenaries and they want them to do, to do the jobs they wanted to do, uh, but they are incapable of doing, for example, in terms of uh, spending a lot of money on occupations and military adventure and because of their economic crisis and because, uh, you know, these people are, uh, they could always pretend they are uh, not... Uh, uh, part and parcel of the American military machine. Thank you very much, uh, Sabah Jawad, Director of uh, Iraqi Democrats Against Occupation in London.